Okay, this is the fundamental theorem of calculus. This is 6.4, part B, or the second part. Um, I'm going to not read all this. Let's just go to the quick overview part. It says we're going to create a function that is defined as an integral. Then, using this function, we're going to find the derivative of this function, thus tying the two concepts of calculus together forever! Exclamation mark. Keep in mind that if we can find, define a function as an integral and take the derivative, then we can answer all the same types of questions about increasing, decreasing, concave up, concave down, and inflection points that we did earlier in the year. Hopefully you haven't forgotten about that. Um, consider the examples below. Okay, it says so blah blah blah. The graph of f of t given below has odd symmetry and is periodic with period 2. So what that means is odd symmetry means that if you go negative 1, negative 2, it's going to come down and go back up, okay? Um, it says the integral from 1 to 0 is 4 thirds. That means, I mean from 0 to 1, that this area is 4 thirds. So I know the area doesn't have a sign, but we're going to just go ahead and put signs on it. That means the integral from 1 to 2 would be negative 4 thirds. This would be negative 4 thirds, and this would be 4 thirds. So it says to complete the following table. Let f of x, big F, be the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt. So if I want to find the integral at, if I only want to do negative 1, I would do the integral from 0 to negative 1 of f of t dt. So from 0 to negative 1, let me get an arrow. From 0 to negative 1. Now I want you to notice that those are flipped, that's backwards. So the integral from negative 1 to 0 would be negative 4 thirds. So from 0 to negative 1, because you're going backwards, is going to be a positive 4 thirds. And I do not like that that, that arrow is yellow. Okay, there. It's less, that's more calm. Um, now I want to go do the integral from your, all I'm doing, let me backtrack is filling this number in where the x is, okay? So if I want to do 0, I would do the integral from 0 to 0 of f of t dt, okay? So 0 to 0 is always 0. And then this one, I would do the integral from 0 to 1 of f of t dt. Well, from 0 to 1 is 4 thirds. So that's 4 thirds. And then for 2, it'd be the integral from 0 to 2 of f of t dt. The integral from 0 to 2 would be 4 thirds plus negative 4 thirds, which would be 0. And then from 0 to 3, well, I would have to make another one. So it'd be 4 thirds plus negative 4 thirds plus 4 thirds, which is 4 thirds. Okay, I'm going to copy that. So I'll paste it to the next page. All right. Um, this one is similar. Take a minute, pause the video, and try it on your own. Okay, I'm assuming that you've already paused it, so unpause it now. Um, and I'm going to do the integral from negative 2 to 0. Well, from negative 2 to 0, that's two triangles, 1 half base times height, plus the other triangle, one-half base times height, except for this one's negative because it's below the x-axis. Um, so it's just going to be zero because they're going to go away. Now I want to do the integral from negative two to two. So that's going to be all the way to here. And this is two trapezoids. So 1 half times the height times B1 plus B2 plus 1 half times the height times B1 plus B2. Whoa, I'm at the screen blanked. 3 times 1 is 3 times a half, so that's 3 halves plus, and now it's shaking. That's, that's not good. Uh, 3 halves is 6 halves, which is 3 plus 1 is 4, minus 1 is 3. I'm going to restart my computer in a minute. Um, this may be a very short video. WT DT. Now I want you to notice that these are switched.
because they're switched, um, I'm going to have to reverse the sign of my answer. So if I erase all this, oh yeah, it's not even going to let me erase. It's wonderful. Um, we determined that this was negative 1 right there. That was 1. This was this area right here was 3. Um, and I'm going from negative 2 to negative 3. So, whoops, negative 2 to negative 3. So I want this little piece right here. It looks like 1 and a half. I'm just going to go ahead and say that's 3 halves. Um, but it's below the x-axis, so it's a negative 3 halves. But because these are switched, I'm going to negate it, and it's going to be a positive 3 halves. Um, I'll tell you what. This video is going to be in three or four parts. So stop this video um, now, and I'm going to restart my computer.